Good evening and welcome to this evening's concert. May we remind you to put your mobile phones on silent and enjoy the performance.
There is no better way to introduce these beautiful people, these beautiful artists, these beautiful souls, by each one of us saying, I'm going to show my love. 
um, to our own self, to you, and to many, many people tonight that are gathered with us online. So first, I say karibu to all the queer community from Nairobi that are with us. I say gracias Galicia y Tarifa for all the people in the north and south of Spain watching us tonight and supporting us. Some people in Connecticut, USA, <laughs> in Ireland, in the UK, were gathered to prove and remember how we are really one body, we are one mass, we are one collective with the environment, with each other, with the people we never met, even with the children that are yet to be born. You want the mic, cool. You want the mic? <laughs> Um, all I have to say is thank you. Gabriel Getkuti, Clon. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. So, before um, we start this, um, I welcome you all and I thank you. Um, as many of you know, we're doing this so to fundraise, um, to support two organizations um, based in Kenya, uh, Minority Women in Action and uh, Nadaria Kenya. I'll, we'll hear them later. Um, but before... I continue, um, the first artist very prominent in the stage that I wanted to feature is Stefan Spiteri. Um, Stefan has been in this journey of uh, getting pregnant with this concert and delivering this baby <laughs> since February. Um, he created this piece out of all the concept of the, this night. Um, he calls it the cave of light and darkness. I think all of us humans, we know that sometimes life can get dark and many injustice and a lot of things can happen, but somehow there are two ways how you look in a cave. Either you look to the dark or you look to the light. And in the beginning, um, we had Andrew Schembri, who was in, involved in this project and working this with Stefan too. And Andrew was very pro-light <laughs> as well. So I applaud to Andrew Schembri too, because somehow he's there. Um, you'll see Stefan's work. Um, there are, also, on the outside table, you can find his card where there's his website and you can see what he's able <laughs> to do. So before we start the songs, um, I want to say something that um, my, uh, my childhood was very Catholic, like most of us Maltese. I think in my mid-twenties, maybe my heart became Buddhist. <laughs> But eventually, I think my greatest faith is in our hearts. My greatest faith is in love. I think I have managed to realize that God, life, love, and each name of us here, and each name of every person, even of every flower, that is God, that is love. So my faith is in that. And through time, I realized that is where I pray. So I pray a lot, like life. <laughs> Thank you for my strength. Thank you for this. And um, I always prayed alone. And when I was in Kenya, I experienced praying with others and I loved it. So I'm going to start this little concert with all these babies on me on stage um, by saying a little prayer for each heart of us. 
Okay, I'm gonna do it on the piano, so it won't be less, it will be less boring. <laughs> Thank you. Love me on Sunday Let me worship you like a god In this body of a thousand hearts Keep pouring the strength in me Keep pouring the loving on in me Strengthen him. Keep pouring the loving on in hell. Keep pouring the strength in death. Keep pouring the loving on in all of us. Every word. I pray for the keeper of the night heart. Please move on. Don't let us choose pain over love. No anymore. Cause we're not gonna heal alone. We heal together. So keep pouring the strength in me. Keep pouring the loving on in me, in all of us. So I pray for freedom in every heart to choose joy, to choose love. I pray for belongingness. I think our sexuality, our spirit. I pray for this togetherness. Love me on Sunday. Let me worship you like a god In this body of a thousand hearts So I'm going to invite Tom Armitage. <laughs> Anatomy of Faith. Um, all these compositions um, are not that old. They're all the words I needed to write, to hear, to share.
We did work a lot, but of course, tonight is going to be the best version. And <clears throat> so now that George came back, George Huntington, we got them from Brighton. <clears throat> the 
because all the cellists in Malta were straight and I really wanted to be joined by people. <laughs> I wanted that at least on stage, none of us is straight. But as you can see, we are so different. And that is the thing, you know, like each one of us is so beautiful. All of us here, all of us everywhere. And with all our differences and diversity, we are this harmony that is natural, you know. So thank you, George, still for... <laughs> Okay. We're going to do a song I released this year, but I wrote years ago. It's called Never Enough, and it's about codependency. So as much as we love and love and put love in all that we do towards the people in our life, the people we meet, it's never going to be enough to fill your heart because, of course, each one of us, we need to love our own self with that same abundance first. No one is going to fix your holes. <laughs> so you pour a lot of love to yourself. So that's why this song says, the other's love is never enough. Okay? Yeah, plot to yourself and to all the love you're going to give yourself.
I think when I was 19, yeah, somewhere like that, I remember there was a very popular talk show who talked about some taboos. And I remember seeing Sasha Vella, this woman with a shaved head. For many years, she had one, it, it wasn't a lesbian bar, but it was very lesbian friendly. Um, Sasha's, when I met her, that back then, I remember hearing her sing, that's a very, very great privilege with us tonight to have someone with us that knows Malta a long way back, who was always very authentic to herself. She's gonna bless us with two beautiful songs. So I'm gonna welcome Sasha Vella. Thank you. It doesn't look that she's gonna stay single, eh? Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for coming tonight. And um, just gonna... this is a song I wrote quite a while ago, and it's about falling in love with the wrong girl. Um, you're either straight, you know, and um, basically I wrote this, and it's about how I used to feel, how about I used to feel that I want to change, I want to bite my elbow, you know, to become a guy. Um, so basically that's what this song is about, and I'd like to share it with you tonight. Thank you. If I had to be a superstar If I had to drive the nicest car If I had to walk along the edge Would you be my baby Till the end fly among the best and beat the Russians at a game of chess If I had to change and be your man Would you be my baby Till the end Till the end climb to the top of the world and 
be your boyfriend or even your girl if I had to be the one you want would you be my baby forevermore Top of the world and be your boyfriend or even your girl. If I had to be the one you want, would you be my baby forevermore? Thank you very much to George. Beautiful, George. So, thank you very, very much. Thank you. So, um, the next song is, uh, I wrote this song, um, the lyrics for it, about two months ago. I finished work quite late, and um, I knew I had to perform here with Claire and the rest of the people. And I, some words came to me and I wrote it down. And the next day, Claire, me and Claire had to meet. She came to my house and I said, Claire, I said, have a look at these lyrics. And um, she got her guitar and started doing the, mel the, the melody and the song and the music to it. So literally in five minutes, the bass was done. There's a lot of practice, obviously, afterwards. But she created the music to my lyrics. I'm really honored to play this with her. And I'd like to welcome Claire on stage, please. Song, Sasha. <laughs> well, <laughs> she, no she, idea. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, well, it's about, about if girls feel the same, how they feel when they're they look like a boy, they feel like a boy, and it's quite a hard thing. So I think it's, it takes me back to when I was about 16, you know, when I'd walk through Valletta and get pushed around physically uh, because I was gay and called lesbian, all sorts of horrible things. And uh, I think we've come a long way. From that. That's good you shared that. We didn't plan this. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us to. Hello, isolated, I don't know my reflection, should I awkwardly wear her dress, or wear trousers to perfection, do all goods feel like do all girls look like this? Do all girls feel like this? Tell me what's wrong with me. Is something wrong with me? A feeling flowing through my veins 
We're gonna um, do another song uh, from mine. It's called Everything Belongs. Um, all the songs that I'm singing from um, my own compositions, you can find the lyrics, you can find them on all music platforms too. But of course, not in the same arrangement that we're doing them tonight because God bless, I have Tom Marmitich who did so much beauty in these songs and arrangements. This is the moment where <laughs> we thank you, Tom. Everything Belongs is about, it's a song about trust. 
Um, trusting the things that we can't control, trusting the things that sometimes go um, different from how we want, different from how we plan, different from how we wish, you know. I always say that somehow there's an alignment that the things, um, when they go kind of not the way we wished or we planned, it doesn't mean that they went wrong, you know, and every little thing belongs. dark, safe with the lovers, safe in the crowd. See, I no longer want to be a trigger of a gun pointing straight at me. Well, now I wake up just like the sun, with stomach full cause my fear is gone. Well, I took, took some time to die, so I can wake up on this new call. See, what breaks me or fixes me I'm made from the ash to the bone What breaks me or fixes me Oh, every little thing belongs I found the river Head. Well, I found news on my way to work. I even found freedom in my ways and bread. I found all the things undone. I found a good face in the crowd. Who oh, cause my head was full of songs. Even when my mouth was covered in mold. Well, it's been wet and cold. And I've learned to Many other ways I took up to change the posture in my life, the words in my mind, no more wasting time. See the history of me left behind it though. What breaks me or fixes me, I'm made from the ash to the bone. What breaks me or fixes me, see every note belongs. Every step is a kiss Even when I'm hearing the earth crying When I know the trees are belonging Sometimes I could hear the birds sighing See, this is where I was born Where the earth, she aches no more As it breaks to make the waterfall you see the fountain, it makes us whole See everything belongs You and I We breathe We love We make We make everything belong
So, um, first of all, if you don't mind, can we please give a huge applause again to Gabriel Akaklon, <laughs> Stefan Spiteri, <laughs> Sasha Vella, George Hennington, Maya Sesay, you're gonna see her again. Neo Borch Bonacci, who isn't, it's straight, okay? <laughs> but he's filming and sending this. Sergio on the sound. I'm gonna do this like a teaser, like you clap and then you stop. Maurice Savan on the lights. You are enjoying the, this magic and brilliance of this guy. Now, what I need all of us to applaud before we hear from them is um, the people behind Minority Action and in, in Minority Women in Action in Nairobi. They're following us now. We're gonna be a, do a big applause for you. I'm gonna tell you why. And Dol et Nadaria Kenya. I am... I'm not going to talk about the death penalty that just passed on homosexual people in Uganda and about the violent killings that are happening one by one in Kenya. I want us and I want also myself to use the bl this platform to talk about the work that Nadaria Kenya and minority women in action are doing while this is happening. Not just, not because they are risking, but because they have this fire creating safe spaces for queer people who are being attacked constantly, even imprisoned. I met these people personally in my times in Kenya in the last year and a half, and I was blown out of my mind with the sense of community that these people have, and not just between them, between all communities, because a community is very strong, but communities with other communities, like we said, and like Stephen shows here, it's one body. So, um, tonight, those five euros that you paid to come in, those are going for Euro Pride and for the next Pride, uh, the next gay Pride that will happen in Malta. And they made it at such a small fee, so you, we kind of give you space to be able to give a donation for Nadaria Kenyan Minority Woman in Action. There's a box here, which Morris make the magic right now. <laughs> um, you can give cash there. there, you can also do it with Revolut. Um, on the table outside there are all the details. And you can also buy a tote bag, okay? So there are 100 tote bags, you're more than 100, please go and get them all, okay? Um, this is how we are supporting Nadaria Kenyan Minority Woman, <laughs> Woman in Action, moi. Um, uh, yeah, I think they told you, the tote bags are 13 euros, but you can give 10, you can give 15, give as much as you want, okay? And another thing that we can give um, is, for example, I, I don't know, I think, so Europe Pride, Tony Attard gave me this platform. He told me, do you want to make a concert? What I did is with the stage and this opportunity, I said, yes, I'm gonna use it as a platform to voice, not voice, sorry, because they have a voice, to bridge their challenges, their work, and you know, why not collaborate with them? Now, I know amongst you there might be, I don't know, a web 
site designer, an architect, a dancer, you know, a counselor, you know. Outside on that um, table, you have their email, you have their contacts, you have their socials, you have everything. Take a photo. If you think of something that you can um, support them with, go ahead, okay? Um, yeah, uh, what else? Okay, so I asked Alpha from Nadaria, Kenya, where they uh, host refuge from people that don't have places where to live because they get um, attacked and they're being, um, how are you saying? My English, they're being, they have no safe spaces. So they receive refugees in there. Um, beside that, they do performing arts. They do courses how to become a mechanic. They have a whole lot of stuff happening. They've been for four years. Um, and then we have minority women in action who you're gonna hear from them, okay? So I ask them to leave you this. Um, we're gonna listen to Alpha first. Natharia is a community-based organization in Kenya that caters to LBQ, ITGNC persons. We exist to challenge gender norms around the binary lens of gender identity and expression. Our mission is to create a functional transitional home for LBQ, ITGNC persons at risk or have lost their safety nets and are facing homelessness. We have managed to successfully operate for four years, rescue, and house over 100 queer folk through community support. However, due to the escalating hostility from our previous neighbors and the concurrent rise in security breaches and concerns, we made the decision to relocate. Regrettably, the closure of the shelter operation marked a backslide and rendered numerous vulnerable individuals homeless and unsupported. We are currently in the process of securing funding to reestablish our shelter our primary objective now is to identify a more hospitable and secure environment where our shelter can thrive. In this new location, we are committed to continuing and enhancing our efforts towards sustainability and self-sufficiency. This entails a significant focus on expanding our farming project, vocational training courses, sports and performing arts that cater to our house members and the community at large. A big applause to Alpha and all the people at Nadaria. They're with us tonight online. Um, um, they've been thanking us before we're doing um, this. Um, I really encourage you that after the concert, get a tote back, um, follow them, go on their website, see their work in detail, get in touch with them. And if you ever go to Kenya, which is a very beautiful country, <laughs> um, go and meet them in person. Um, now I'm, we're going to listen to Muton Ngige, who is the director of MOA, Minority Women in Action. Um, I've met these people many times. I've attended their workshops. They do incredible work 24 hours a day. Um, not because we all need each other's support, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not sorry, because I start talking a lot. Let me, let us hear Mutoni. <laughs> In a world where freedom, autonomy, and dignity are the birthright of all, there emerged a group of extraordinary lesbian women dedicated to transforming this vision into reality. In 2006, these women realized that to be visible and to wield agency over their voices and concerns, they must take the lead in organizing for their own rights. This is a story of minority women in action a dynamic and activist-led community-based organization at the forefront of advocating for the rights 
voice and visibility of lesbian, bisexual, queer women, and gender non-conforming folks in Kenya. Queer individuals in Kenya confront a multitude of challenges living in a homophobic, transphobic environment. These challenges include systemic discrimination stemming from societal prejudices, restrictive legislation, limited awareness about LGBTI communities, cultural norms, and a lack of representation. This shapes the context of living where LGBTI Kenyans struggle with limited bodily autonomy, coercive control, violence, discrimination, lack of rights recognition, harmful ideologies, and exclusion. MOA stands as a beacon of hope, a catalyst for change toward a world where all individuals, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity, can live a life of freedom, autonomy, and, dig and dignity. We are dedicated to empowering queer communities in Kenya by fostering a network of support that enables them to flourish against the tide of violence and ensure they have the tools to confront oppression. We are dedicated to advocacy on sexual rights for critical narrative shift by engaging decision makers to promote policies and narratives that champion sexual and gender rights and by leading activism on LGBTI autonomy, safety, and rights by challenging coercion, violence, and discrimination. MOA is dedicated to nurturing grassroots organizing and leadership of queer women by mobilizing active participation of MOA queer membership for collective efforts to resist discriminatory laws and build alternative structures for thriving, healing, and survival within their communities. Additionally, we cultivate their leadership through skill building, mentorship, and facilitate access to resources. MOA is also committed to enhancing its own survival capacities and sustainability. This is needed for a long-term impact in championing the rights of the LGBTI community. We invite you to join us in transforming the social context in which we live, work, and play. Thank you. We're with you tonight. And we're with you in the future too, because um, as we all know, naturally and organically, we're so part of each other, you know, <laughs> even when we don't try. Like our decisions are affecting other people's life. Other people's decisions are affecting ours. So um, it's really great that you made a very good decision to come today here. <laughs> okay. We're, go um, we're reaching very close to the end. Um, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna invite Tom again. This beautiful, brilliant musician. Cat lover. I think the thing that stresses, stressed me most um, in the build up and in all the work involved in this concert was to make sure that all these people that were with me on stage, you can see how brilliant they are. And you can see that it's not that easy for them to be as brilliant as they are, you know? So, um, I'm very proud of myself and of them because I think they are shining and they're gonna continue to shine. And so will you. So the song I'm gonna sing now is, uh, um, it's called I Can't Give You My Love. It's a song that I heard, that I wrote last year. Um, I started writing this song, looking at the mirror and saying like, why is it so hard to love you, you know? Why is it so hard to love ourselves sometimes? And I felt like, I can't love you, you know, I can't give you my love because you already have it, man. <laughs> it's already here. So I started with that line and then when I actually was in Kenya, the song became an anthem 
that I wrote for the queer community in Kenya, that by law and by so many censorship and hardships, um, it makes it even more difficult to let themselves love themselves. So this is the song for them. And this is also the song for each one of you here or with us online tonight that at times struggle to love themselves. And I hope that they don't anymore, and neither do I. That you crave But I can give you my love Cause you already got it I bite my lip Empty my head Sing with this heartbeat It holds me to bed I'm staying alive And free myself to have another breath I tell you I've got you You've got me There is a light on it all No matter what they say No matter what they do Nothing can stop this fire boo Can't you see
It's the first time I didn't cry singing this. So, we're gonna do a last song, presenting Maya Sese, who's 19 and the future generation. We're gonna end with beginnings. We are actually each from a different decade, you know? <laughs> Gonna leave it up to Maya, okay? Hey, guys.
and the lights, the movers. Fenicia, thank you. You have become an adjective. When people are nice to me, I say, you're so Fenicia. Thank you to Mutoni Gige and all her team at Minority Woman in Action. A big applause to all of you. To all your strength, your courage, your faith, your care. To Nadaria Kenya. To Tony Attart, I don't know where he is. Tony Attart and, and Maria Zopardi, who gave me and us the space to do this something beautiful. And last, wait, I'm sure I left some people out, did you really? Clear. Huh? Maritza mentioned <laughs> I want to take each one of you up front for the donations and the tote bags you will get, for choosing love in your life, for being kind to yourself and to others, and for proving even to us here on stage how one body of a thousand hearts we really are. So thank you to each one of you. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you to you as well, Claire, for to organize everything from start to finish. Amazing with rehearsals and a beautiful woman. Thank you very much.